Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? I thought I'd wake you up today with a massive yellow. Okay? <laughs> that could have been a totally different sentence. <laughs> anyway, mate, today we're looking into the paranormal again. But don't worry, mate. There is going to be some weird and wonderful things coming this week. All right? But for today, we're looking back into the paranormal. Into a little channel called Slap Time. Huh? Slap time, mate. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And let's get him up to a billion subscribers. The same as us. Let's get to a billion subscribers ourselves, okay? This one is called, These Unsettling Videos Are Freaking Skeptics Out. Well, I'm a bit of a skeptic. Well, mostly a skeptic, okay? Are they going to freak me out? We'll find out today. And if you're a skeptic, will they freak you out? We'll have a little look. Right. Anyway, without further ado, dar dilly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go and start up. Now you're about to see some of the freakiest videos going around the internet. Good. Let's check them out. Two years ago, Reddit user Quimbo Slice Twenty shared a series of videos. The Kimbo Slice. He died, didn't he? Very good fighter. And left the online community spooked. The user claimed to have captured evidence of paranormal activity in their aunt's house in rural Iowa, a place they had long believed to be haunted. The user shared that the house was built back in the 1860s. On a graveyard. <laughs> We haven't seen that for a while, have we? Sixties. During a visit, they were awakened by voices at 2.30 a.m. Creeped out, they began filming on their phone. I'm still hearing voices. Jesus Christ. Then the camera picks up what sounds like whispering. <gasps> oh shit, have I seen this one? Have I seen this one? I'm not too sure, but this, like, I don't know. Visually, it doesn't look the same as what I remember, but something about it is familiar. No, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this, mate. Are you effing, mate? A man? Oh, no. No, 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 man. Okay? Imagine hearing that in your bloody ear, mate. Huh? With the warm breath. It'd be cold, though, wouldn't it? It'd be a, a little ghost baby bastard. It'd be a cold breath in your ear. Nope, nope. Finally, an eerie knocking sound can be heard emanating from the closet. F you, man. I'm trying to get asleep. Yeah? Oh, my God. Go on, open it up, mate. Rambo it. orbs, often associated with spiritual presences, can be seen moving in almost all of the clips. Mm. Nah, the intensity mate. of the event eventually forced the user to sleep in their car. The user expressed relief at finally having some proof to share, acknowledging that others might be sceptical. So, is this old house in Iowa really haunted? Love to hear your take on this one in the comments down below. Oh, what do you reckon, mate? That's freaky with the whisper and everything, man. I would open it. I would rambo it, mate. Bollocks out and all. I'd be like, what the F do you want? TikTok user Curious Alien 7 has recently shared a terrifying video of a paranormal investigator engaging with a Ouija board. Don't do Ouija boards, okay? I know I'm a skeptic, but I'm still saying don't do bloody Ouija boards. Let's continue. The session starts off with the investigator asking if they're communicating with the devil, and the situation quickly deteriorates from there. Am I dealing or am I speaking with the devil right now through this Ouija board? Oh shit in hell. Oh my god. 
There's actually hand prints on the ceiling there. Oh, coming how? Through. Audible noises can be heard, and the investigator the claims hell, to see hand prints appearing on the room's shit. ceiling. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. See, right, okay, I've got to say something, all right? I've got to say something. So, all I'm saying is, like, because I don't know much about religion and things like that, all right? So, please, forgive my, na my naivety, right? But I, th I seem to remember, and I could be wrong, but there's, there's one God... Okay, there's God that basically made everything, all right? And then there's the devil, like the anti-God, right? The complete negative of God. Or is there multiple, like, and he's the devil. So is there multiple devils? There's multiple demons, right? So... You know these people saying, "Are you the devil? Are you the the, the, the devil coming through? It are you? Yeah, are you the devil? I right." I'm thinking, wouldn't he have other things to do? Like that's like doing a Ouija board, going, "Are you God? Are you are you God?" It's like God's pretty pretty busy, I would imagine. You know, and I know that like the devil's like the bad guy. All right. But I'm sure he's also busy. Why do you think that out of all those millions of people in the world, he's going to be talking to you? So, you know, you don't ever see people going, is this God? If you're God, can you give me a message? You know, well, a lot of people do say that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I, I would imagine it'd be more like, are you, the, are you, are you a demon, I suppose? Because I think if it was actually the devil that came through on the Ouija board, you'd fucking know about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The same, the same thing as if it was God came through on a bloody Ouija board. You'd be like, shit, man, I'm, I'm knowing about this, right? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It always seems like, are you the devil? Are you the devil? It's like devil's just fucking flapping about everywhere, mate. It's only one of them, isn't there? I could be wrong. Anyway, that's my rant over. There's actually hand prints on the ceiling there. Where? Coming through. The investigator then becomes noticeably distressed and frightened. Well. Oh, just forget about the hand prints on the ceiling. Oh, uh, yeah, there's hand prints. Yeah, they're traveling around. Yeah, really long fingers. Fuck it, let's carry on. Right, guys. I'm absolutely crapping myself right now. Well, she does to seem add like to she's the unsettling it. scene, her nose starts to bleed. Oh shit! Who is through? Who? Who am I? Who? I'm losing my. Who? Your brain's falling out of your fucking nose, love. That's why. Who am I communicating with through this board? Oh. She must have my known nose that. Is bleeding right now. Oh my god. But well, that's a clear sign to F and stop, mate! Then, towards the end of the video, this happens. Got Her head's gonna explode. It's gonna be like scanners. Like Watch your head! Oh, oh my god, right, that's it. I'm done. I'm what? off. I'm sorry, guys. The video was. I think the bleeding nose would have been the good start. In fact, no, Sonic. The, the handprints being created in the scene it would have been a good sign to fucking leave, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sparked a renewed interest in the history of the Ouija board and its Shit. sinister connotations. The Ouija board, also known as a spirit board or talking board, has its origins in the 19th century American spiritualism movement. While it was initially introduced as a parlor game, the Ouija board quickly gained a reputation for being a tool to communicate with the spirit world. Mm. Over the years, it's been surrounded by controversy and has been associated with numerous sinister events and supernatural phenomena. Mm. Many religious groups and paranormal investigators caution against using Ouija boards, warning that they may open a portal to malevolent entities and have harmful psychological effects. Mm. While skeptics may attribute the events captured in this video to natural phenomena, or human manipulation, believers in the paranormal may see it as further evidence of the dangers associated with using Ouija boards. 
Whether viewed as a sinister tool or a harmless game, the Ouija board continues to captivate the imagination and spark debates on the nature of the supernatural world. I need him right now. Oh my God. The de demon, it's trying to... I know I've got no tissue, but my nose is bleeding right now. And then she's put blood on the bloody Ouija board as well, mate. The board is moving. Oh, oh my God, right, that, that's mate. it. Yeah, I would be, motherfucker, I'm gone, I'm gone. And then I would have Ramboed it. I'm off. I'm sorry, guys. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. What the? A recent video uploaded to TikTok by user Frank VM Ditch what? 2022 has been making waves what across the? the internet this What the hell week. is going on the here? to show an enormous dust devil. But what's the fucking thing's been sucked up, mate? Or tornado. <laughs> but there was something being sucked up into it. <laughs> However, what's caused the video to go viral is the presence of a dark shape yeah. rising up in the middle of the tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Which, bizarrely, also seems to be getting sucked up into the sun. <laughs> What the flip is going on here, mate? <laughs> Unless it's like, um, like a hole, a hole, like an air pocket that's gone through that you can. So here's the cloud, but you can see through it, like you know. <laughs> yeah, bras. This curious yeah, sighting bras. has sparked cries of witchcraft from the online community with many asserting that this phenomenon seems to be much more than a simple what dust devil. What the hell was that Speculations are rampant, but so far, no one's been able to conclusively identify the dark shape, right? Yeah, but it's, no, because it would be blue, right? It would be blue through the sky, through the, through there, if it was just, like, more transparent. Sing up through the tornado. <laughs> He's loving, isn't he? <laughs> As of now, well, that is that is the most weirdest thing I've seen for a long time, man. It remains a complete mystery. Theories abound, ranging from the scientifically plausible to the outright fantastical. Some suggest that the dark shape could be debris or a group of birds caught in the wind. Others, however, are inclined to believe in a more supernatural explanation, pointing to local folklore and legends associated with witchcraft and otherworldly forces. But who is it, mate? Who lives in there? Who lives in here, man? Who the hell's just got sucked? That's what she said. <laughs> While experts are yet to weigh in on this phenomenon, the video continues to captivate viewers worldwide. Wow. A recent strange <coughs> event left a group of hikers baffled as they spotted a transparent four-foot-tall figure walking by the Pilcomayo River in Taria, Bolivia. Is this an it? area notorious for being plagued by interdimensional portals, according to locals. What? The creature, photographed oh. and later shared online, was described as a grey being with unusually long limbs and a strange way of walking. Oh, let's see the Oddly, footage then. the entity didn't oh, seem to have a reflection hell? in the water beside which it was walking. The what photograph, the? Oh which quickly went viral. Oh my god, there's a fucking alien, mate! It's a bloody alien! Look at it looking at me! Look at you! The alien from Taria is currently under scrutiny by UFO experts, including well-known ufologist Javier Carlos Cordero. Cordero noted the creature's... What the hell? Mate, it's a bloody alien! Oh my god! Mate, li listen, right, listen. I'm a little bit frustrated at the moment because I've been wanting to try to find some alien footage and all I can all I can see is like talks about it and stuff. I want some proper alien footage, some UFO new footage, mate, right? Because I'm sort of like lost. I'm lost in the in the sway of all of the shit on the internet. I want to see some proper hardcore alien evidence, mate. UFO evidence, new shit, and I want to show you guys. So if you if you have seen something, man, please tweet me, right? Or X me, whatever you call it now, right? Because I want to see more of this shit, mate. Because this intrigues me. It's resemblance to a grey being, categorised by its long limbs, but emphasised the need you. to verify the images. Or the right, okay, listen. The, the, the one thing that freaks me out about this picture, okay, is that this picture, that the alien here, looks very similar. Have you seen that, the photo that 
It's so realistic, it's got to be fake. Of these people with selfies, right? Selfies with other aliens. And, and the aliens are like, they're doing little fucking selfies back. This looks like that. This looks like that alien. In fact, those aliens. If I can find it, I'll snap it up on the screen, mate, because it's bloody mental. Or I might do a, a comp In fact, no, I'm going to do a complete separate video about that one because that, like, it has to be fake. I'm 99 points sure it's fake, but there's a possibility it's not. Authenticity. But this looks like him. The online community is also divided on whether the photograph is real or a product of digital manipulation. To settle the debate, Cordero suggested employing artificial intelligence to definitively determine the photograph's genuineness. I'm so pissed off with digital now. Like, you know, it just ruins everything, doesn't it? Like Photoshop and like, it's amazing. Digital's amazing. Photoshop's amazing. But it's shit at the same time, isn't it? Because you can't believe anything anymore. Like, am I actually here? You don't know, I could be AI. The sighting has reignited interest in the region's alleged ties to extraterrestrial activities. Cordero mentioned that Toria appears to have a unique connection to such activities, reinforcing the idea that there might be more at play in the region. The abundance of minerals and the purported presence of interdimensional portals in the area could be interconnected. This is not the first time Toria has been linked to extraterrestrial phenomena. In May 1978, a large number of people near the Bolivian-Argentine border reported witnessing a spaceship crash in Macoya, an event that some considered to be South America's most credible UFO crash incident. Wow. The US military <coughs> also showed interest in the cylindrical object that crashed into the mountainside. You're not, don't tell me that that's the actual photo, all right? You, you know, I'm not having that, mate. That is not the actual photo. Bolivian military personnel present at the scene, including Corporal Natalio Fafan Ruiz, were reportedly terrified, with some fearing the end of the world was imminent. Additionally, people located over 100 miles away claimed to have heard an explosion resembling a sonic boom. The recent alien sighting near the Pilcomayo River has sparked a wave of discussions and theories about extraterrestrial life and interdimensional. Sorry about that, I ran out of disk space, so I don't know what you've seen and what you haven't seen. Graph's authenticity is yet to be verified, the incident has certainly piqued the interest of both UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. <gasps> As investigations continue, Look many are left wondering whether this sighting will become another unsolved mystery, or if it will provide insights into Taria's mysterious history and its relationship with the unknown. It's like, it's transparent like Betty Predator, isn't it? <sighs> Look at yeah. People are saying, oh, how do you know? Instagram user Paranoid Normal has uploaded another terrifying piece of footage. The clip shows a homeowner getting ready to move out of a house which they suspect has been haunted for some time. In the footage, the homeowner, who believes that the spirit in his house responds to whistling, performs a test to demonstrate the entity's presence. What the hell? Mate, if that was me, I would I wouldn't be thinking that's paranormal. I'd be thinking I'm like I've got telekinesis or something. You know? That I can open things up with my whistle. <whistles> Just that'd be epic. Okay. <laughs> to further confirm the phenomenon, he places the camera on a table and whistles once again. To be fair, though, why would you record yourself with nothing, with nothing going on? Like, no, when I say nothing going on, no doors, apart from that door. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. What I'm saying is, why would you, why would you frame your camera at a couch, yourself and a couch and nothing else bar a door? Wouldn't you put something like ornaments around or something around that could potentially be moved or manipulated of some sort. Yeah. He then walks into the room to show that there's no one in there. You guys, if you don't believe me, there's nobody in here. 
Oh, fuck me, that name. Happy Gilmore just scared the shit out of me. Deputy. Tap, tap, tap. Deputy. However, when he returns to the kitchen, he finds this. Oh, you guys, seriously, you guys have asked for it. Oh, the cabinets mate. Are now open. I think I've seen this one. Oh, you guys, seriously, you guys have asked for it. The mysterious events captured in the video have sparked a debate on whether the house is genuinely haunted. The fact that the homeowner is moving out due to the alleged paranormal activities lends credence to the incident. Mm. Whether or not this is definitive proof of a haunting remains up for debate, but it certainly adds to the growing collection of mysterious and unexplained phenomena mm. captured on camera. It's very strange. Oh, you guys, seriously, you guys have asked for it. Yeah, very strange, but I don't know. There's something a little bit dubious about that one, I must, I must admit. Argentinian actress and singer Yamina Barone recently startled her Instagram followers by posting a snippet of her home security footage that appears to capture something rather eerie. In the video, Yamina is sitting at her table when suddenly something seems to frighten her. Oh my fucking god, it's a hand, mate! A hand just went on a bloody sh hang on, hang on, this is ages old, isn't it? This rings a bell. Isn't she a famous she actress? That it felt like something it's a fucking hand! ...her shoulder, prompting her to review her home security footage. What she found was terrifying. When the footage is slowed down, mate. it appears to show a tiny hand reaching up and touching her on the shoulder. It's, it's like, mashed potato, want some mashed potato? Had some mashed potato, man the funny. Look at it! The clip quickly went viral with viewers speculating on the nature of the strange I apparition. remember this one. I remember Many this one, mate. were baffled by the sudden appearance of the mysterious hand. Oh. And theories ranged from a trick of the light to genuine paranormal activity. Mm. The strange occurrence has left Yimina and her followers perplexed and unnerved. Whether or not this is definitive proof of the paranormal remains up for... I mean, that's an amazing zoom in, by the way, isn't it? I mean, look, look. Unnerved. Whether or not this is... H how the hell can you pick out three or four fingers from that distance from a zoom in, mate? What? Definitive proof of the paranormal remains up for debate, but it certainly has piqued the curiosity and imagination of many. Like, maximum enhancement, please! Okay. Before we take a look at an allegedly oh, cursed painting... Oh, mate, I covered this. I covered this story, man. Ping. Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. If you want to see my, like, full-on story about it... Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Please make sure you go and check out my video of the um, haunted picture because it is absolutely incredible. And in fact... They're like a couple of days later, she went on to sort of like a, a morning television and started talking about it, mate. So it's proper legit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope I see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>